Um, I'm Drake. All right, Drake, why did you decide to join FBLA? I, did, I decided to join FBLA because it gives me a good thing to put on my college application, and I feel like that if I do go into the business world, um, it definitely this definitely gets me jump started to help out in the business. All right, and then what do you enjoy most about FBLA? I enjoy like um, everybody's friends with everybody. Everybody's cool. You know, the FBLA community as a whole is they're all nice with each other, and I feel like you can make more friends if you. If you struggle with that, there's definitely people that are here for you, and you can have, it's a lot of fun. All right, thank you, Drake. Candace Brand. All right, Candace is our president here, and why did you join FBLA? Um, I joined FBLA because it gives me leadership skills that I can use throughout my whole life, and I just really like the community um, that we created for our club. All right, and then what do you enjoy most about FBLA? I really like the competitions. Um, I enjoy going to competitions and just like getting a an experience in the business world. And yeah. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Alrighty, guys, now we're here with? Brayden. All right, Brayden, why did you join FBLA? I joined FBLA because an administrator told me uh, that I should join it, and I've enjoyed it ever since. All right, and then what's your favorite part about FBLA? Uh, my favorite part of the FBLA is probably the, how it's going to look on a resume uh, for when I go into the business world. William Autry. All right, William, why did you join FBLA? I joined FBLA because I believed it'd give me more like of a leadership role that I could translate more into college and I could use um, in my in the business world um, after college. All right, and then what do you enjoy most about FBLA? Uh, I probably enjoy, um, I'd say, like the competitions and being able to compete while still being in the business world, so. Okay, so who am I here with? Kaylee. All right, Kaylee, what are you most thankful for? Um, I'm most thankful for my family because they're always there when I need them and they support me in everything. I am so thankful for Miss Crockett because she is always there whenever, if you need someone to talk to or if you just need help with anything, she's always there. All right, thank you. All right, now we're here with? Uh, I'm Drake. All right, Drake, and what are you thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful for my family. You know, they're just, they're, they're, they're they're a very important aspect of my life, and I'm also very thankful for my FBLA advisor, Ms. Crockett. All right, and then what are you most thankful for about Ms. Crockett? Um, I like the way that she runs stuff. She kind of lets us, she's there as an advisor, but she also allows us to, you know, do our thing and run FBLA how we, how we would run FBLA. And she's just kind of there making sure everything goes smoothly as opposed to, you know, taking control and not taking other people into consideration there. All right, thank you. All right, now we're here with? Ellis. All right, Ellis, what are you most thankful for? I am most thankful for my family for always being there for me. All right, and then what are you most thankful for about your advisor? Because she's always there to like make you laugh and always brings energy to everything. All right, thank you. All right, now we're here with? Samantha. All right, Samantha, what are you most thankful for? I am most thankful for my health. What are you most thankful for about your advisor? Um, I feel like I'm very can be close with her and always come to her about anything and she provides a lot of resources for us in All school. Right. Oh, Stella Nolan. All right, Stella. Um, if you do, if you know, what do you want to do with your future, and then how will FBLA help that? I want to be an entrepreneur when I grow up. So hopefully with FBLA, it'll teach me the techniques to network with other people and to understand the basics of where I'm going. All right, and then what's some attire that you would wear um, every day as a business lead? Well, hopefully, what being an entrepreneur, I'll have my own company, so I'll be able to wear more professional outfits like business suits. All righty, thank you. No problem. All right, guys, now we're here with? Sots Cousin. All right, Sots Cousin. If yeah. you know what you want to do with your future, how will FBLA help that? Um, currently, I don't know what I want to do with my future, but FBLA will help me decide on what I want to do in the near future or late future. All right, and then what's, what attire would you want to wear to your job? Or? Like some casual clothes, you know. I don't like to be a little too, like, like nothing too special, you know what I'm saying? Just a combo yeah. fit? Yeah. All right, thank you, Sots Cousin. All right, now we're here with? Sarah Beidelman. All right, Sarah, if you know what you want to do with your future, how will FBLA help that? Uh, for my future, I'm preparing to go into a career in law, and FBLA is helping me with that as I um, currently use business law as an event, so it's giving me the opportunity to learn more about the business side of law. All 
Alright, and then for your attire for your future, um, what do you think you'll wear every day like? Uh, I'll wear business formal attire usually, whether that's in courts or in like um, buildings for different businesses as well. All right, thank you. All right, now we're here with Case Tesserum. All right, Case, if you know what you want to do for your future, how will FBLA affect that? Uh, I want to be an entrepreneur and own my own business. Entrepreneur. All right, and then what does your everyday attire look like? Uh, it look like a suit, nice dressed up. All right, thank you. Happy FBLA week.